Anderson Silva will be boxing actor Terry Crews on June 15th in Brazil. All right, Anderson Silva. I've been training, I'm ready. June 15th, I'll see you at fight night in Brazil, y'all. June 15th, let's go. Anderson Silva, me, you. Let's make it happen. What? Terry Crews here. Brazil. All right, all right. Terry Crews, June 15th. I'm waiting for you. I'm ready. I'm preparing myself for you. I'm waiting for you. June 15th, here in Brazil. See you soon, my brother. Tyson Fury lost a split decision to Alexander Usyk last night. Conor McGregor reacted saying a mad hiding. What's next? Who knows? Usyk is incredible. He has beat both soundly. Whatever moves towards Tyson AJ, I am for. If Fury wishes to go a second try at the wheel, AJ had two attempts, so why not? Tall ask. Not impossible also. If not, AJ Usyk three last hurrah, and then win, loser, draw, go Tyson AJ. John Jones also reacted in the middle of the fight. He wrote, should that have been stopped? You know what? I just want to say thank you to God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We uh, put on a good fight for the fans. You know, I always say it's about getting paid and getting laid. Um, and we did that tonight. I thank Alexander for the for the good fight. Um, it was a close fight, you know. I I, I believed like I, I thought I did enough, but you know I'm not a judge. I can't judge a fight while I'm boxing it. You know, if, if they would have said to me in the last round or whatever, you're down, go out and try and finish him. I would have done that, but we believe everyone in the corner believed we were up. You know, all I had to do was just keep boxing and doing what I was doing, and you know I thought we was getting it, but it was what it was. I'm not going to cry about spilled milk. I've had plenty of victories, and I've gave God the, the glory. I've had this one loss and a close close fight, you know, with a good good man like Usyk. And it was what it was. Um, I tried my best in there. I, I was having a lot of fun, actually. I don't know if it looked like it, but I was playing around, and hands behind my back. I was enjoying it. You know, he's a good fighter, Alexander, and I was catching him, and he was catching me, and it was a good fight. So hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Get punched in the face. Khalil Roundtree is out of his fight with Jamal Hill. Khalil posted this to his Instagram. He wrote, I'm gutted to deliver this news to you all, but I will not be fighting at UFC 303 due to consuming a banned substance. I did not do this intentionally, and I am doing everything I can to get this situation taken care of. I was using a personalized, tailored supplement service from a company that I trusted, who understood my limitations in what I can and cannot take. They accidentally sent a blended supplement to me that contained the banned substance called DHEA, which is prohibited at all times under the UFC anti-doping policy. Only after I consumed it was its ingredients brought to my attention. Michael Venom Page claims that he accepted the fight against Ian Gary. I'm, I've accepted it. You've Look, accepted. I've accepted the fight, so we're just waiting. So I, I'm he's just, accepted it. He's, he's, he says, he's accepted he it. He says he's accepted it. This guy likes to talk because you remember he says I'm never gonna beat Kevin Holland. Then I did what I did. So yeah, he admits he's wrong. Then he says he's never gonna accept the fight with me because I'm ranked too low. So then how all of a sudden you've accepted the fight? I don't. You need to figure out where you're at. Make sense of what you're, what you're saying. Brandon Schaub responded to Ronda Rousey going off on him last week. Ronda said that it was gratifying watching Travis Brown beat up Brendan and claimed that Brendan played mind games with her during their relationship. Uh, my ex covered up on the ground while Travis pounded away on him. The referee waved the match over. Then Travis towering over the crumpled semi-conscious body no, of It wasn't my ex. unconscious oh, and also wasn't crumpled. <laughs> I was in me, downward dog, okay? I swear I could hear Travis's voice saying, Ronda says you that's pretty good that's pretty good <laughs> Rhonda! yeah i don't think he said Rhonda says he didn't, didn't he come to your dressing room and say i'm glad you're okay uh, in the back yeah yeah he said i'm glad you're all right yeah I'm glad he's you cool know. you have no issues with him now the way the media treats her i think is not fair people forget like what she did for women's MMA. There would be no female MMA fighters if it wasn't for Ronda. Dana, shortly before Ronda came on the scene, went, women will never fight in the UFC. Then he sees Ronda, he's like, um, maybe they will because she's a savage. And people want to talk about like Kobe mentality too. I'm sure Kobe was a savage. There, there should be Ronda mentality. Yeah. Kamaru Usman believes Leon Edwards will defeat Bilal Muhammad. The two are set to fight at UFC 304 on July 27th. I would say I like Bilal, but I think Leon. I think Leon. Yeah. This is the difference. The sport has changed so much to where guys are learning how to use the cage to get up. 
to where it's, it's almost it's not even really wrestling anymore because you take a guy down up close to the cage they're just gonna use the cage and they're gonna get back to the feet guys are getting really really good at that and Bilal Muhammad I don't feel is high enough level of a wrestler to take him down the center of the cage keep him down there. I, I I just don't see it because Bilal and Bilal, Bilal is his level is definitely up yeah. where he can switch stances he can fight out of both stance he mixes it up and he knows how to control his pace that's the biggest thing you saw it in the Burns fight I, I think this is a very intriguing fight but I Leon just being the champion and, and being confident in, in being the champion I think he's gonna be sharp and he's fighting in Manchester yeah but sometimes fighting at home is not the best there's so much pressure there's yeah. 50 family members that need tickets you know everyone's <laughs> there you can't lose at home bro yeah. come on Leon don't let him bully you son yeah I, I think uh Leon can if he trains properly I think he will he will be victorious in that Anthony Smith thinks that Hamza Chamaev can beat anybody in any weight class if it's in the first round. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a real big believer in Hamza. I really am. I think the guy's incredible. But if we're just being critical, first Five round, times. I think Hamza can beat anybody across any weight class. I don't give a who it is. Anybody in the world, he can beat in the first round. We start getting into second, third, fourth, fifth. I mean, yeah. the Gilbert Burns fight is kind of a perfect example. If that fight goes another two rounds. A better right example around? is the Kamara Usman fight. Yeah. First round, monster. Absolutely. You don't killer. see people doing to Kamara Usman what Hamza did. No. Now, Usman built his career on being a ridiculous wrestler. He got tossed around like a rag doll in that fight. But he had the toughness, the durability, and all the experience to get out of it. To round two, and he kind of closed the gap again. But in round three, he was winning the fight. And that was on that was very was short notice. Hamza was exhausted. Hamza Chamayev had a message for Robert Whitaker on Instagram. Hamza posted this. He wrote, Good night, at Robert Whitaker. Charles Oliveira responds to Kobe Covington calling him out last week. Charles said that he's open to moving to welterweight and making it happen. Charles said, Man, in reality, it's like I said, it's sitting down and looking at legacy, history, and values. You have to sit down. When I woke up in the morning, thousands of people were sending me messages. I sent it to Diego Lima and Diego said it too. I see what you think. I said, Diego, just sit down, talk, think, see what's good, see what the UFC thinks about it. It's not just what Charles thinks, it's about what the UFC thinks about it. Kobe is a talkative guy. He's a guy who talks a lot, so let's see. Why not? On moving up to welterweight, Charles continued for sure. If it makes sense, if it's something good for me, why not? And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one says, who else is done with Jones' antics? The second one's from Bertle McGirdle. It says, Jones will fight Guru before he fights Aspinall and he'll try to justify it. Guru is the more popular YouTuber, and Aspinall hasn't done enough as a YouTuber to have the right to fight me yet. And the final one says that fan spoke the truth to Jones, and he couldn't handle it. What's new? Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.